Welcome to the uh, 2012 Rosie Awards presented by the Wadsworth Chamber of Commerce. This is a special event evening in honoring our community members and businesses that work diligently for the Wadsworth area community. I am Andy Antonino, the president of the Board of Directors of Wadsworth Chamber. And at this time, I would like to introduce your 2012 Board of Directors, if they would please stand as I call your name. Joanna Perino, Vice President with WCTV. Karen Wilson, Secretary, Wadsworth Real Estate. Craig Hassinger, Past President, Siebert Keck Insurance. Laura Brocklehurst, Suprema Incorporated. Paula Canterbury, Wadsworth City Schools. Tom Crooks, Voorhees, Sater, Seymour, and Pease. Christina Laskowski, Summa Wadsworth Rhythman Hospital. And Chris Maxwell with First Merit Bank. Our chamber staff is Janie Parrish, our executive director, and Sharon Wright, our administrative assistant. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started, and at this time I'd like to introduce Chris Maxwell as your Master of Ceremonies this evening. Good evening, and again, welcome to the 32nd Annual Wadsworth Chamber of Commerce Rosie Awards. Again, I am Chris Maxwell. I will be your Master of Ceremonies this evening. Tonight, we honor Wadsworth's top businesses and business professionals. The nominees were chosen by you, the Wadsworth Chamber of Commerce members. The votes have been tallied, and the winners will soon be announced. The honor of receiving these awards, again, dates, dates back 32 years. Time has passed, but there is one constant that remains. The nominees and winners here tonight have a great love for this city. They volunteer, they donate, they are active and present. They are the foundation of success which Wadsworth is built on and a tradition which dates back almost 200 years. Each recipient tonight, whether a company or individual, instills an internal flame, a flame that was struck from a rosebud match which was manufactured just a few short miles from here. We celebrate that internal flame tonight. It is the flame that fuels the success of these nominees and makes Wadsworth such a great community to live in and work. Wadsworth's success is not refined within its city limits. Our success can be seen in Major League Baseball with Andy Sonnenstein every time he takes the mound, it was felt when Michael Foreman was rocketing into outer space. As you can see, Wadsworth has a lot to celebrate in the coming years with the bicentennial approaching. We look forward to the celebration and what it will bring to the community. Before we get started, there are a few people that we need to thank. And first and foremost, I would like to thank Dr. Brandon Bupp from Advanced Health and Wellness Center here in Wadsworth in Superior Health Club. Dr. Bupp and his staff were gracious enough to actually uh, sponsor our awards that you see here this evening. Uh, Dr. Bupp, if you don't know, he, uh, he operates a chiropractic office as well as a, uh, a great gym over here next to uh, Bueller's. And I can tell you, I go to CrossFit and he works you hard, let me tell you. So um, thank you to Dr. Bupp. I'd like to personally thank you for your sponsorship and, and always being there when we need you. Bueller's Fresh Foods of Wadsworth for the donation of the lovely centerpieces. We truly appreciate your sponsorship of those. The generous table sponsors, and if there's any in attendance, just raise your hand or stand so you can be recognized. Uh, Bruce L. Manning, First Merit Bank, Frontier Communications, Polito Consulting Services, Qualiform Incorporated, Siebert Keck Insurance, Suprema Incorporated, Summa Wadsworth Rittman Hospital, The Post Newspapers, Boyer, Sater, Seymour, and Peace, LLP, and Wadsworth Real Estate. We would also like to thank Joanna Perino from WCTV for the creation of this evening's video, John Matting from WCTV for the filming of the 2012 Rosie Awards, 
as well as Glenn Rutherford from Glenn Ruth Rutherford Photography, the official photographer of the Rosie Awards this evening. And of course, we need to thank Brenda Adley for the playing of the piano before and during dinner. We appreciate that. We also would like to uh, thank the student ushers who uh, actually ushered everybody in tonight. Haley Beavers, Isaac Clark, Ben Hanna, Megan Harp, John Hawkins, Mac Jones, I think it's Elania Lake Lakos. <laughs> I always screw up a name every year, I can't help it. <laughs> uh, Megan Mir, Elizabeth Scozaro, and Megan Sontag. And of course, we would also like to thank our registration staff of Nancy Love and Terry Sir Lewis. Tonight, again, we are honoring nine categories of excellence, as well as a presentation of the key to the city. On, and so, without further ado, on to our awards. The first award is for Community Improvement of the Year. The nominated business must be based in Wadsworth, have a location in Wadsworth, or a member of the Wadsworth Area Chamber of Commerce. The nominated business must have completed a restoration improvement or building project in the prior calendar year. And the nominees are... Ideal Graphics. A part of the Wadsworth business community for over a dozen years, Ideal Graphics moved from North Pardee Street to Main Street in 2011, making Ideal much more visible to the community. They purchased the historic home built in 1900 across the street from Central Intermediate School and kept the original design. They restored the home to its grand beauty to fit in with the other well cared for buildings in the downtown area. This graphic design firm is dedicated to everything that pertains to the image of small to mid-sized businesses, such as logos, websites, signage, vehicle graphics, and printed materials. Their tagline is, Image and Imagination by Design. Ideal Graphics is looking forward to completing their exterior renovations this summer. Dr. Bruce L. Manning is a 1975 graduate of Wadsworth High School and the Ohio State University College of Optometry in 1981. He opened his practice here in Wadsworth in 1982. As his practice grew, he decided a new, larger office was in order. Keeping with the look of the Briarthorn area, Dr. Manning contracted with the same architect that designed many of the Briarthorn condominiums and party center and chose the bricks, stones, and the siding to match with the daycare, creating one coordinated look. He served as president of the Ohio Optometric Association, the Wadsworth Lions Club, and the Wadsworth chapter of the American Red Cross. Dr. Manning participates in kindergarten vision screening and gives Real Eyes presentations to elementary children, teaching the importance of a lifetime of comprehensive eye care. The Goodwill Industries of Akron's Wadsworth store opened in the fall of 2010 in a vacated grocery store. The plaza had been severely impacted when the grocery store moved and another retailer closed. Goodwill Industries was interested in expanding its retail operations into Wadsworth to provide a more convenient location for its donors and shoppers. The store opened to help the community give back with their donations and support Goodwill's mission of helping individuals prepare for, find, and retain employment. Goodwill thanks the Wadsworth community for helping to successfully fulfill their mission through the overwhelming support of the community. Okay, before I announce the winner, we would ask for all the recipients of awards this evening, once you've received your award, say a few brief comments, that you step down to the second step so we can get your picture with your award. And the winner of Community Improvement of the Year. Wow. Is Goodwill Industries.
Good evening. I'm part of a team that helps individuals prepare for, find, and retain employment. My name is Nan McLennigan, and on behalf of Don Colley, Mike Lapina, and our team at the Goodwill store in Wadsworth, and all of our colleagues across Goodwill, we are so pleased just to be nominated for this award. It has been very exciting to be in this community. I thought you would like to know that we felt very welcomed here from the day we let people know we were going to open our doors. And from the fall of 2010 until yesterday, the total sales in our store are about $987,000. We served about 82,000 shoppers. And those donations came in from about 42,000 donors who gave us about 1,400 tons of treasures that we could sort and represent to our community. But more importantly, our store is also a site where people are practicing their work skills. And currently, we have five participants who are building their work skills in our store. So thank you so much for this recognition. But thank you for helping us help people prepare for, find, and retain employment. Thank you. Our next award is for Sustainable Business of the Year. The nominated business must be based in Wadsworth, have a location in Wadsworth, or be a member of the Wadsworth Area Chamber of Commerce. The nominated business must have introduced a new eco-friendly sustainability practice in their company within the prior calendar year. And the nominees are... Medina Creative Housing developed Medina Creative Produce, a hydroponic greenhouse in which hydroponic butter bib lettuce is grown year-round. This hydroponic process is the most environmentally sustainable growing method available, using no chemicals, creating no runoff, and recycling water. The lettuce is grown in a nutrient-rich bath, harvested and delivered to local restaurants, businesses, grocery stores, hospitals, and food banks. Medina Creative Produce employs 23 individuals with disabilities and provides vocational training and employment to all seven school districts. Students and adults with disabilities are developing marketable skills while earning incomes. This small nonprofit organization has a large and valuable impact through promoting and operating sound, eco friendly, sustainable business practices, which benefit the community and opens new employment opportunities to the disabled population. Suprema, the world's largest manufacturer of SBS modified bitumen roofing and waterproofing offers environmentally intelligent systems, technical information, and the latest innovations delivering sustainable solutions. The U.S. Green Building Council's LEED program recognizes organizations that build green and recognizes Suprema Green Solutions with its complete line of eco-friendly roofing and waterproofing products as a leader in maintaining a healthy planet and minimizing carbon footprint. The Suprema facility right here in Wadsworth has transformed their roof and can transform any unused commercial rooftop into a reliable, clean source of renewable energy. This BIVP technology converts collected solar energy into electricity that may be used internally or externally or even returned to the electrical grid, creating a new revenue stream. Next time you visit Suprema, they will be delighted to show off their roof. Sumo Wadsworth Ritman Hospital is proud to participate in many programs and avenues that work to contribute to healthier communities, which is a part of their mission. The hospital participates in the Medina County Recycling Program and recycles operating room blue wraps, which are used in the packaging of surgical instruments and supplies. Sumo Wadsworth Ritman Hospital implemented a central warehousing and distribution program that centralized storage activities including storage of basic furniture and furnishings, so that items still in great condition may be reused. Also, the hospital uses a confidential paper shredding company that recycles their shredded paper. 
The staff at SUMO Wadsworth Ritman Hospital works as servant leaders, being environmental stewards to eliminate misuse of resources and waste. And the winner for Sustainable Business of the Year is Janie Lesklu next year. Suprema. Good evening. Uh, congratulations to the other nominees. I'm a newcomer to the area. I'm a newcomer to this company, Suprema. Uh, want to introduce myself. I'm Tim Kersey, uh, newly appointed Vice President of Operations uh, for the United States for Suprema. Uh, one of my big concerns coming here tonight was my accent. But uh, my, my boss, I'll explain that in a moment. My boss is a French Canadian. He said, don't worry about it. I've been there. Uh, you'll be just fine. Uh, I am from Arkansas. And right now I'm commuting back and forth from Arkansas to Ohio, and my family will be moving here very soon. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, I cannot in good conscience accept this award. I've been here for two months, folks. So uh, there, there are a couple of people I want to recognize. One in particular right now is Laura Brocklehurst, and we'll get to the entire team later. Uh, but Laura, would you please come and accept this? Laura and Beth, and we'll get to Beth Workman later as well. These two ladies I know are the ones who put the work in with you. And uh, again, it's just an honor to stand before you to introduce myself tonight, but these are the ladies who've really, uh, I think, put the work in with the community, and we appreciate that very much. Thank you. Laura. Thank you. It really is a pleasure to be a partner in the Wadsworth community, and we thank you for the nomination for this award. Our research and development department continues to be diligent in, in developing products that are eco-friendly, um, to, the, to the environment. We appreciate the opportunity to partner with some of the business in the Wadsworth community in their growth and their expansion, and we look forward to uh, that continued partnership. Thank you. The next award is for Business Employee of the Year. The nominee's employer is based in Wadsworth, has a location in Wadsworth, or is a member of the Wadsworth Area Chamber of Commerce. The nominee is a non-owner of the business and is not in a supervisory or management position. And the nominees are... Candy Davis, the Activity Director at Liberty Residence 2, puts her heart and soul into making the residents of Liberty Residence 2 happy. Partnering with local businesses and organizations such as Sacred Heart School, Kinder Care, and Home Depot, Candy strives to include the residents in daily activities, special events, and making sure everyone knows they are important, useful, and they are at home. She is the mother of two girls, Tiffany and Lauren, and is just about ready for a new role in her life, a grandma to a new baby girl. Candy is very family oriented and her family also includes her work family. The resident's happiness is highly important to her and Candy cannot think of a better place to work than Liberty Residence too. Katie Saxon, editor of the Wadsworth Post, has covered the Wadsworth community since 2009 where she joined the Post newspapers. She reports on city, school, and community news. In January 2010, Katie began writing the weekly column, Up, Down, and All Around Town, on page two of the newspaper. This column was a new concept for the paper and has grown into a successful component. Through her accurate reporting and photography, Katie has shared important news with the community, including city council news, school news, construction updates on the community center, and event coverage such as the Blue Tip Festival and Parade, civic organizations, and charity events. She hopes that she presents a positive public face for all the Post newspaper's many employees who help to create the paper each week. Katie and her husband Jake live in Norton with their two dogs, Ranger and Bailey. Sharon Wright has worked as the administrative assistant for the Wadsworth Chamber of Commerce for the past one and a half years. She graduated from the University of Akron with a degree in education. Sharon was a substitute teacher at Wadsworth, 
Cloverleaf, and St. Vincent St. Mary, pre-LeBron, and then stayed home with her first son after he was born. Sharon is the director of Wadsworth Safety Town and volunteers often for Wadsworth City Schools and her church, First Christian Church. Sharon and her husband, Roger, have been married for almost 17 years. She is the mom to two boys, Colin, 12, and Brandon, 9. She is a lifelong resident of Wadsworth and a 2009 inductee into the Wadsworth High School Sports Hall of Fame. Sharon enjoys walking her dog, working out, and coaching her son's baseball teams. And the winner of Business Employee of the Year is... Katie Saxon. Uh, first of all, I just want to say that I was really humbled and honored to even be nominated because of the great business community and the great chamber. And I think there's someone from every business here that deserves this award. So thank you so much, I really do appreciate it. Um, also, I just wanted to thank everyone for supporting the post, all of our advertisers, the chamber, our readers. We really appreciate your support in the community and it's been a pleasure working in Wadsworth. So thank you. Our next award is for Business Manager of the Year. The nominee's employer is based in Wadsworth, has a location in Wadsworth, or is a member of the Wadsworth Area Chamber of Commerce. The nominee is a non-owner of the business, and the nominees are... David Cavalier, the director of the Galaxy Restaurant and Banquet Center, has worked with the Leatherman family for the past 16 years. He has helped organize the banquet side of many events and fundraisers, including those to support the American Cancer Society, Hospice of Wadsworth Rittman, United Way of Medina County, Wadsworth Schools, the Lions and Rotary Clubs, the Wadsworth Rittman Hospital Foundation, and that's just to name a few. David has been instrumental in helping to raise money to make Wadsworth a great community. David has been married for 24 years, has a son, a daughter, and four grandchildren. David says it has been great working for the Leatherman family and making new friends throughout the community over the years. Marjorie Cook is the lead sales and lead customer service provider at Ideal Graphics. For six years, she has been their business manager. Marjorie strongly believes that her wonderful team works diligently to share responsibility, accountability, and success. She is dedicated to improving the people and businesses she works with, whether through image and consulting work or volunteering with the Wadsworth Independent Business Association, the Wadsworth Chamber of Commerce, the Ohio Federation for Children's Mental Health, and the Blue Tip Festival. Marjorie's family consists of her son, 13-year-old Alex, and Max and Cuddles, their poodles. She loves being part of the talented team at Ideal and being part of the caring community of Wadsworth. Joseph Magnaca. With 25 years in education as a teacher, coach, and principal, Joe Magnaca currently serves as the Director of Facilities for Wadsworth City Schools. Joe oversees the support staff for the school district, which includes building staffing, custodial, maintenance, food service, and transportation departments. For the past three years, he has served as the district representative for the $130 million construction project, which includes three elementary schools and the Wadsworth High School and Community Center project. This project is a collaborative effort with the City of Wadsworth, SUMA Health Systems, Wadsworth Public Library, and the YMCA. On July 18th, Joe and his wife and best friend Renee will celebrate their 25th wedding anniversary. They are blessed to have two great daughters, Katie, a senior, and Carissa, a junior, and they have resided in Wadsworth since 1988. Joe serves on the City of Wadsworth's Cable Commission as the district representative and is an active member of the Lions Club. 
Debbie Reeves is a manager of two First Merit Bank branches, Great Oaks and Sharon Center. She has been in the banking business for 28 years and joined the First Merit team four years ago. Debbie understands the importance of customer service and has implemented procedures to provide excellent customer service. Debbie serves as secretary of the Downtown Wasworth Board, is First Merit's coordinator for the Blue Tip Parade, and is an active board member of Wadsworth Rotary. She is married to her husband, Larry, and they have two children, Steve and Heather. Debbie enjoys reading, gardening, traveling, and spending time with her family and friends. As you can see, all very well deserving of the award, but the winner today of the Business Manager of the Year is David Cavalier. Thank you very much. It's uh, been an honor and a pleasure to work in Wadsworth for the last 16 years. And I couldn't uh, do all the things I do without the support of the Leatherman family. And I'd like to share this award with the great staff that I have that has made this all possible. Thank you. Our next award is for Visionary of the Year. As a visionary, the nominee has been a member of the Wadsworth area business community as a paid professional or as a volunteer and is a member of the Wadsworth area chamber of commerce. And the nominees are. Toby Budd is the owner and president of Allen and Hartzell. And this is the first of two nominations for Toby this evening. Involved in the community since 1972, Toby continues to be active in the community by serving on volunteer boards and having a large involvement with the formation of the Wadsworth Independent Business Association. He continually strives to improve the community by his dedication, caring, and support. Toby encourages his staff, as well as other community members, to gain positive communication and problem-solving skills. He believes that challenges make life interesting and meaningful, and he often asks himself, what am I doing for those that follow? Diane De Pasquale Haggerty, the Executive Director of Medina Creative Housing for the past eight years, has a vision that enables Medina County residents with disabilities to live the American dream, to live independently in a home of their own that is designed to meet their special needs. Diane has a law degree from Case Western Reserve University and a master's in healthcare administration from Cornell University. Diane has been recognized as a woman of professional excellence, Medina County Woman of Distinction, Community Champion, and the Medical Mutual Executive Director of the Year for helping to change the way society views people with disabilities and creating opportunities for individuals with disabilities to give back to the community. She serves on the board of the Disability Housing Network, working on housing issues affecting the disabled population at the state level. She also serves on the Medina County Housing Network and Foreclosure Task Force, working with collaborative agencies to address housing issues in Medina County. Thomas Hayes. In his role as account manager at SaberLogic, Thomas Hayes is responsible for managing existing client relationships bringing in new accounts, and identifying new opportunities for growth. He is also highly involved in the Wadsworth Young Professionals as the current president. The Wadsworth Young Professionals, a community outreach of the Wadsworth Chamber of Commerce, is an impressive group of young people dedicated to heightening the lives of young professionals who live and work in Wadsworth by providing opportunities to network, socialize, and enjoy our city. When he is not working, you can find Thomas boating on Portage Lakes, grilling out on the deck, and spending quality time with friends. And the winner of the Visionary of the Year Award goes to Mr. Tommy Hayes. Oh, 
something prepared here. I don't want to forget anybody. <clears throat> but first and foremost, I have to thank the young professionals. You guys are the reason I'm here. You're an amazing group of people, and each one of you deserve this award every bit as much as I do. I also want to thank Janie and the Chamber Board for being so receptive to our ideas and for their support. And you guys really went above and beyond tonight. This is awesome. That said, receiving this award is an honor. The Wazir Chamber of Commerce is the best chamber out there and to be nominated and selected by the business people and community leaders in this room today is truly humbling. I appreciate it very much and I look forward to another great year in Wadsworth. Thank you. Our next award is for Business Advocate of the Year. As a business advocate, the nominee has been a member of the Wadsworth area business community as a paid professional or as a volunteer and is a member of the Wadsworth Area Chamber of Commerce. And the nominees are... Toby Butt is the president and owner of Allen & Hartzell, the oldest business of continuous operation in Wadsworth. He came to Wadsworth in 1972 and then became involved in the community by joining the Wadsworth Rotary Club a year later. Toby believes the opportunity to serve on volunteer boards is the heart of our community. He has been involved with United Way, American Red Cross, Salvation Army, is the past and founding chair of the Wadsworth Public Library Foundation and current chair of the Wadsworth Ritman Hospital Foundation. Toby was instrumental in founding the Wadsworth Independent Business Association when it was realized that difficult economic times were ahead for most businesses. The mission of the association is to share the strengths of others and help overcome the weaknesses. As a business owner, Toby recognizes the struggles we all face and knows if we work together, everyone's load is lightened. Harry Stark, Assistant Director of Public Service for the City of Wadsworth, holds a Bachelor of Science degree from the University of South Florida and a Master's in Public Administration from the University of Akron. Harry started his career in the public sector in Florida and moved to Ohio 20 years ago. For the past 20 years, he has worked in the public sector in Ohio. Harry participates in the Wadsworth Chamber of Commerce, the Wadsworth Independent Business Association, Downtown Wadsworth, and Medina County Economic Development. He is instrumental in the development of programs specific for Efficiency Smart, an energy efficient incentive program for commercial, retail, and manufacturers in our community. Harry believes Wadsworth is a special place and enjoys being part of the community. His number one joy in life is spending time with his family, especially at the beach. Jack Yard, a consultant with Polito Consulting, credits working in a great team environment for making it easy to do rewarding and exceptional client services. Jack is a longtime professional sales representative and has been able to connect area business people with other like-minded business entrepreneurs to help them both realize success. He continues to share an optimistic attitude to fellow employees, business associates, prospects and clients through every endeavor, especially during our recent recession. This has helped Polito Consulting Services grow its business, customer base, and add employees in the last year. All of this is accomplished because of his love of God and realizing that God helps him in every circumstance. And the winner of Business Advocate of the Year is Mr. Harry Stark. First, I want to thank um, everyone in this community. I've been here for the last two years, and uh, this has been uh, a great change of pace after working in Cuyahoga County for the last 18 years. And uh, just coming to Wadsworth has been a great, great uh, point of my life. Uh, the community uh, has welcomed me, and uh, it's uh, been an honor to work with the businesses and with the residents here in the community, and uh, looking uh, forward to a long employment here in the city. So thank you again. <laughs> the 
The next award is for Business Leader of the Year. The nominee has owned or held the highest executive position in the Wadsworth area-based business and is a member of the Wadsworth Area Chamber of Commerce. And the nominees are... Andy Antonino is president of Qualiform, a custom rubber molding shop located on Weber Drive in Wadsworth. After graduating from the University of Akron, he accepted a position as Territory Sales Manager with the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company's Industrial Products Division in New Orleans. Upon his father's retirement in 2001, Andy took over the reins as President of Qualiform. He credits Qualiform's success to the outstanding team of employees. He and his wife Paula live in Wadsworth and have two daughters, Jordan, a student at the University of Akron, and Kelsey, a senior at Wadsworth High School. And they have a very large German Shepherd, Sammy. He and his family are active members of St. Andrew's Catholic Church in Norton. Mary Alice Mance. The managing director of an all-volunteer, faith-based, nonprofit organization, Mary Alice Mance of Marion's Closet, has been one of the dedicated volunteers since its opening in September 2007. Marion's Closet's mission is to improve the quality of life to those most in need, offering encouragement, hope, and dignity through meeting their daily needs. Marion's Closet provides people in need not only with clothing and household items, but also friendship and hope. Mary Alice oversees the daily operations and makes Marion's Closet's mission possible through grants and many community partnerships. Mary Alice was born and raised in Wadsworth and is married with five children, 12 grandchildren, and two great-grandchildren. Until her retirement, she was employed for 30 years by the Medina County Probate and Juvenile Court as a deputy clerk and adoption investigator. Mary Alice shares that she is blessed to be part of this heartwarming ministry. Brian Polito, CEO and president of Polito Consulting Services, is known for his ability to think outside of the box. He earned a Bachelor of Science degree in Computer Science in 1991 and began his career working for the University of Akron. Working in several different areas for several different companies and after gaining knowledge in the information technology world, coupled with his sales ability and good understanding of business, Brian started Polito Consulting Services in 1996 to serve the small and mid-sized business market. His business and personal life is governed by doing the right thing at the right time for the right reason. Brian and his wife are proud parents of four children. And the winner, the 2011 Business Leader of the Year, I said 11 because it was last year, right? Okay. <laughs> is Mr. Brian Polito. Good evening, everyone. It's an honor to be here tonight. Thank you to whomever nominated me and uh, those of you who voted for me. As a uh, business leader, it is our responsibility to set the tone and to build some vision, to put some things in order for people to be able to perform. And I wouldn't be here tonight if it weren't for an awesome team. Many of them are here tonight around our table that we've sponsored, my father, Jack Yard, who you've already heard about, Marjorie Cook, and Doug Demeter, and there are many others. And I appreciate everything they do, and it's all because of them that a leader can be recognized. So thank you very much, and uh, I hope we all have a, continue to have a good evening. The next award is the Past Presidents Award. The nominee must have served a full term as president of the Wadsworth Area Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors. The nominee must have established, announced, and accomplished a goal during his or her term. And the nominee is... Craig Hassinger served the Wadsworth Chamber of Commerce as the 2011 board president and completes his six-year board commitment at the end of this year. Craig is the president of Siebert Keck Insurance Agency, Incorporated. 
he received his Bachelor of Arts degree from Malone College. He began his insurance career at the Westfield Insurance Group as an underwriter in 1990. He then joined the Siebert Keck Insurance Agency, an independent insurance agency, in 2000. His past board or advisory positions include United Way of Medina County, Leadership Medina County Trustee, Central Mutual Insurance Advisory Council, and State Auto Insurance Advisory Council. He is a member of Professional Insurance Agents Association, Independent Agents Association, Marsh Berry Advisory Council, Leadership Medina County, and Leadership Akron. Craig is also an active board member with Medina Creative Housing and Medina Community Police Athletic Activities League. Craig received the Cranes Cleveland 40 Under 40 Award in 2006, recognizing the 40 rising stars in Northeast Ohio's business community. Craig enjoys golfing and following his children's sports interests. Craig and his wife Susie have two children, Haley, 17, and Nicholas, 14. The Wadsworth Chamber of Commerce thanks Craig for a job well done in leading the chamber through 2011. I would just like to say it's been a privilege serving on the board with Craig and he did a great job last year bringing in Janie and, and really uh, facilitating and running through the chamber last year. So we appreciate everything that you did for us and we ask you to come accept your award. Thank you, and uh, congratulations to all the uh, winners tonight, as well as the nominees. Uh, it's, a, it's a real honor to be recognized by the uh, Wadsworth Chamber of Commerce. You know, it's been a pleasure and an honor to serve as uh, board chair or president um, during the 2011 term. As I look back at the legacy of the individuals that served before me, there are great people that have served as chamber president here in Wadsworth. People like Dale Fortner and Chris Maxwell, and uh, Blake Gurney and Beth Winter, some of those people that are here today, and Ron Pato. And without those people, the chamber wouldn't be where it's at today. But I'd also like to thank some other people who were instrumental in 2011 when it was really a time of change. People like Sharon Wright, who I didn't recognize, uh, realize this, but she had been there for like six months before the change really started to happen. So thanks to Sharon for her leadership and, and presence in the uh, chamber. I'd also like to recognize Janie Parrish, who uh, has brought a unique excitement to our chamber. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means, but I've been hugged more in my lifetime in the last six months than I, I think my entire lifetime. So um, I can promise you this, it's, it's going to be a fun ride, right Janie? So we're really looking forward to that. Um, I'd also like to thank Andy Antonino, who was vice president as I was the uh, president. And uh, we worked through a lot of challenges and issues as we went through 2011, and Andy was there along the way. So thank you, Andy, for your, your support. And of course, my family, you had a chance to see some pictures. Um, they give up their time with me to allow me to serve in this capacity. So thank you. Our last award, before we have Mayor Lawball come up and uh, present the key to the city, is Outstanding Business of the Year. The nominee has made an outstanding impact on the Wadsworth area community, and the nominees are Polito Consulting Services. Founded in 1996 by CEO and President Brian Polito, Polito Consulting Services' vision is to provide technology support to companies that may not have a strong internal information system staff. Keeping this in mind and giving careful attention to the client's needs and success, Polito Consulting Services has grown by leaps and bounds over the last 15 years. Today, the team of experts at Polito Consulting Services provides services to over 400 businesses located across the United States and Canada and are proficient at over 40 programming languages and many database engines. Managing multiple resources both inside and outside to accomplish project goals on time 
and on budget is what Polito Consulting Services strives for and delivers. Suprema operates 16 manufacturing facilities throughout the world, exports to over 80 countries, and with its strong global market presence, makes Suprema well positioned for the future. However, Suprema is more than that. They are community, they are involved, and they contribute their time, energy, and services, as well as monetarily. Suprema's employees are active with numerous organizations in Wadsworth and Medina County, working on committees, serving on boards, volunteering as worker bees, all to support the overall success of local organizations and simply to give back. Today, Suprema works with over 20 organizations right here in the Wadsworth area, such as Youth Sports, Salvation Army, Wadsworth Chamber of Commerce, Downtown Wadsworth, the City of Wadsworth, Wadsworth City Schools, Wadsworth Public Library, the American Red Cross, Relay for Life, Children's Hospital, and soon, the Suprema Senior Center and the Suprema Cafe, located at the new Community Center. Suprema is a partner with the Wadsworth community. The Giving Doll was started in 2006 by Jan Householder with the mission to give faith, love, joy, hope, and comfort to children at times of special need. Since then, over 11,000 children worldwide are receiving the special comfort of a giving doll, including children in every state and 26 countries. The program has been richly blessed with volunteers who have the heart to use their time, talents, and treasures to make a difference in the lives of some very special children. The program continues to expand. From their Wadsworth headquarters, they are now directing 15 groups in other states and nine area groups. If a child is facing a serious illness, deployment of a parent, a natural disaster, homelessness, abuse, neglect, death of a family member, or more, the Giving Doll is there, bringing a little sunshine, comfort, and love into their darkened world. The Post Newspapers proudly delivers Wadsworth's local news and the messages of Wadsworth's local businesses by mail every Saturday to every home in Wadsworth free of charge. This hometown newspaper delivers weekly local news to over 109,000 homes in nine editions covering 24 communities with 14 school districts. The Post Newspapers has been voted America's Best Free Home Delivered Newspaper by the Association of Free Community Papers for 2009, 2010, and 2011, and has received excellence awards for the past three years from national newspaper associations. The Post has been a longtime supporter of the Wadsworth community and is the dominant news source for local news in the Wadsworth market. The newspaper helps to promote many events occurring in Wadsworth, including the Blue Tip Festival. The Post is the only newspaper that employs a full-time writer to cover Wadsworth exclusively. As you can see, all the nominees are very well deserving of this award this evening. But this year's winner of Outstanding Business of the Year is Suprema. truly is an honor. Uh, and again, I, I can't take any credit for this tonight, and I'm going to embarrass at least one person, if not more. Uh, Beth Workman, while you make your way up here, please. Uh, I know that Beth is really the one behind this. Uh, from my two and a half months into this job, uh, the word worker bee, I think, was used in the video. I haven't seen that or heard that until tonight, but uh, I certainly have a, a table full of worker bees. Uh, at the very least. They're, they're amazing, the staff and the team that we have. I'll probably miss somebody, but Greg Morgan, Chris Andre, Todd Jackson, Shante Orr, uh, Becca Earhart, Laura Brocklehurst, and our latest addition, Gary McComas, who's our new production and plant manager uh, starting May 9th, actually. So he's not even officially on board yet, but we're glad you're here. Uh, I don't know what else to say, but thank you to the board. Again, congratulations to the other nominees. Uh, it, it's just an honor for me to be here. I'm going to let uh, Beth do the official acceptance here tonight. Thank you very much, Beth, and thank you to the chamber.
Well, you know the chamber is very near and dear to my heart, and so is this actual um, event that takes place here. And you know it had to take a lot to take me away from the chamber. That's why Supreme is such an awesome company to work for. So um, I can't say enough about my uh, peers and the people I work with. It's a wonderful company, and we're so glad to be part of the Wadsworth community. Thank you. I would now like to ask Mayor Robin Lawball to come forward and present the final award of the evening, the key to the city. Mayor? A heartfelt congratulations to all the nominees this evening as well as the winners. Uh, I don't know about all of you, but I've certainly enjoyed this evening. Um, it's exciting to see um, this well-deserved recognition, and uh, each one of you are very deserving. It's certainly my pleasure to present the Key to the City Award this evening. It's an award that's given to an individual who's made a substantial contribution to the community. Uh, the individual that will be honored this evening is a very um, an unassuming, a very humble individual, uh, someone that I've known for several years, many years, and have had the privilege to work with. Um, he's, he, that's a clue. <laughs> he was born and raised in Wadsworth, raised his children here, worked here, uh, and has contributed significantly over the years uh, in the business community as well as um, just for the community as a whole. Uh, I'll give the, the recipient a clue because I don't want him to be uh, too surprised. <laughs> but uh, his roots are in the foundry industry. Uh, he worked for uh, his father and eventually became a superintendent uh, of the uh, foundry and uh, did that not only for his father's foundry but uh, after that was sold for another one. But I wanted to focus on his uh, contribution to the business community. Uh, as he uh, continued his work in the foundry, he was also an entrepreneur, and he joined his partner, Elmer Larson, and they created what's called LNG Enterprises, and they had additional uh, partners that joined them, and they were the ones that built uh, those uh, multiple buildings in, state, in the State Street area. Uh, actually, it was a staged pro process, but eventually they had 15 buildings there. Uh, and as I look across the audience, I think some of our businesses here st had their start there. Uh, I believe uh, Qualiform did, and, uh, uh, and as we have seen that they have since gone on to build their own building. Uh, but there's many businesses here in town that had their, their roots there. Uh, and that's what kind of showed that the niche that they provided, an opportunity for a business to have, um, to have a start. Uh, they also provided uh, warehousing. Um, but uh, as I mentioned, many people have their roots there. Additionally, for his uh, contribution to the business community, he served on city council uh, two separate end of intervals, and that's when I uh, became aware and, and met uh, uh, this uh, recipient uh, during my service as city council. And it was at that time that he was president or chairman of the Economic Development Committee. And I had many times remarked that I've never seen anybody give the time and effort uh, to that particular position than this individual. Um, city Council is a, a part-time position, but I think in, in his example it was a full-time position, uh, and he spent a, a, a considerable amount of time in the engineering department, planning department, and, and with zoning and that sort of thing. Uh, after his service in City Council, he uh, then became a member of the Planning Commission, uh, which is a very demanding commission. Uh, it's a volunteer service, and uh, another hint, he sits right next to me <laughs> during those meetings, but he does a tremendous job. Once again, uh, quite an advocate for the business community. Uh, and of course, he's been a member of a chamber and has been very instrumental in the chamber over the years. He also contributed on a local level uh, just to the community at large, a very active member of the Lions Club. Uh, he presently serves on the Salvation Army Board. 
Uh, he is uh, an active member of the Sacred Heart uh, community and has worked in various uh, capacities in, in that congregation. And I just put the overall category of an overall Wadsworth uh, dedicated volunteer uh, because there's been many a time that I've called upon him for, for different things and uh, without a moment's notice he's, he's there and uh, very appreciative of his works uh, within the community and, and at large as well as for the business. So without further ado, I'd like to welcome our, our, our surprise guest, uh, Mr. Walt Gehring, uh, to come up to receive his award. <laughs> talk about the best kept secret in town and uh, I don't know what to say and those of you who know me that doesn't happen very often uh, Robin man how did you uh... <clears throat> well anyways what she said it's been a it's really a a pleasure to uh, accept this and those of you who uh, do know me, uh, Betty and I are, we have roots here. Uh, we were <clears throat> born here and uh, I had an opportunity uh, in my working life to uh, get closer to a <clears throat> jobs when the, we sold the foundry and uh, I worked in other areas, uh, Cleveland, Akron, and I didn't want to leave Wadsworth uh, with our <clears throat> family and the roots we had here. And I dearly love this town, and I thank you very much. This is uh, this means an awful lot to me. I'll tell you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> As we close this evening, I would like to congratulate all the nominees and the award recipients uh, who were here this evening. Uh, we would ask that um, after we are concluded here that all the award recipients please come forward as we are going to take some pictures. Um, please feel free to bring, if you brought people from your company, feel free to bring them forward as well so we can get your, your picture with them as well. You know, again, thank you to our sponsors. Without you, you know, these events, they would be tough to put on. And I really need to thank Janie and Sharon for your countless hours of work that you put into this and really uh, made this a first-class event. And we look forward to, you know, proceeding with this as an evening event and just continue to grow from here. So, again, award recipients, please come forward. Thank you. Have a safe drive home, and we look forward to uh, a great year in Wadsworth. Thank you. Thank you.